I think one Pokemon that's going to do very well in this meta mm -hmm. is Updog. Is what? Is Updog. <laughs> you I almost got you. You almost got me. You almost got me. Almost I, got I saw me. the W coming. <laughs> I was you like, have... you have what? Do you remember that one time I did that joke through text message and I got you with it? Yeah, you got me through text message. Through text, he's reading the words up dog and he's still like, what's up dog? <laughs> the Fusion Cup has been released. The time has come. We, we kind of guessed it. We kinda, you, you guessed it. Well, I, yeah, I mean, a lot of people guessed it when Fusion, yeah. Fusion was in it. They, I mean, a lot of people guessed that it was going to be dual types. That's right. No, I didn't, I didn't think a lot of people were going to guess Save Your Dust aspect, where you can only use Pokemon. I don't think anybody there. guessed that one. Yeah, let's go through right. it, though, while we're looking at All it. All right, so we, as we know, it's going to be dual types only. So double trouble, dual types only. Select your winning battle team of six dual type Pokemon species. No single types permitted in the Fusion Cup. You know what double trouble makes me think of? Prepare for trouble. And make it double. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all people with the nation. <laughs> to denounce the evils of truth and love. To, I can't, I can't, I can't. All right, all right. Jesse. T James. Right. Pretty sure we just realized who wears the pants in this relationship. Uh, it's Jesse. Have what? you seen that relationship? Okay, well. Jesse clearly wears the pants. All right, well, pants. James is de definitely the guy. <laughs> is he? I don't know. Half the time he's dressed I, up as a woman. I don't know, whatever. Right, save Anyways, dust. save your dust. <laughs> Cheap second moves. No species with a second charge move costing more than 50k Stardust is permitted, even if it has a cheaper pre-evolution. Interesting. Oh, really? Yeah, so let's say, for example, it has a baby, yeah. it has 10k, if it, you, if it evolves later, and that if final evolution needs a 75k, you can't use it. Okay, that's interesting. What? Pretty cool. I mean, that's why, why would they do Lucario. that? It seems like they're trying to save dust. Maybe Lucario. Do you know what I mean? It seems like they're trying to help us save us, but why would they stop us from using a cheaper? Pre no, no, no. So, so you're allowed to use a pre-evolution, like a baby form, like a baby form. Yeah. B but it has final evolution can't be more than 50k for its second move. Oh. Do you get it? So, like, it could be, let's say, for example, 10k, and then its final evolution is 50k. It's a log. But as long as it's it's oh. not 75k as a final got evolution, it, it is it, it, not it. allowed. All right. Uh, reusability, solid investment. Solid. Solid. Um, as Go Battle League nears launch, Fusion Cup investments will serve well in both future Arena Cups and in open Great League combat. So that's pretty cool, right? They're basically saying, you know what, these Pokemon that you're going to be using are going to be really good for open Great League. So this is going to be a good investment to be able to get these Pokemon powered up so that when, when Go Battle League comes out, you're going to already have Pokemon ready to go. And now, since these Pokemon are going to be such great investments, we probably have most of these Pokemon already. Yeah, and uh, we got a ban list over here. We got Azumarill, Medicham, Dude Gong. I was going to say Dude Dog. Dude, no. Wormadam, which uh, Wormadam is never going to see the light of day of any <laughs> self arena tournament. I don't know why. Is it really that good? Like, is it really that good? I kind of just want to try it in a self tournament. I know. We never even got the chance. Crazy. Yeah. But it's okay. Um, you know what? In the end of the day, right, we still have Wormadam is banned. But again, Azu is going to be banned, of course, uh, because Azu is a great league god. Yeah. Well, why don't we? Uh, why don't we go over to PV Poke and see what he's thinking? Yeah. Yeah. Handsome young gentleman, PV Poke. All right. I mean, who's surprised that Altaria is the one? <laughs> Open Great League seems very similar to Open Great League, and Altaria is maybe number one. Yeah, it seems really <clears throat> similar to Open Great League. There's yeah. just a few things that are left off. I think a lot of the god type Pokemon, like Deoxys, Umbreon, yeah. Azu, right? All these Pokemon are being. I uh, think one taken thing out. you're going to notice right away if you're looking down PV Poke's list is that you probably have a lot of these Pokemon. Yes. You know what I mean? I got the Altaria, the Wishcast, Bronzong, Venusaur, Swampert, Sandslash, Heracross. I have all of these ready. Literally. Two me moves. too. Me too. Right I, like, I can't find something I don't have ready, which is awesome. Shift tree frost. Maybe, okay, I don't have a weeping bell, but okay, like, I don't have a weeping bell either. But I'm not weeping over that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But so far, it seems really interesting. There is no type, like like typings. It's not like oh, this 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 typing is banned. It's like you can use anything you want, but it has to be a dual type, 
and it has to be under 75k for a second move. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen Heracross that high up in a while. Right. Well, that's because of the close combat. It's got to prove close combat. Yep, close yeah. combat uh, buff was uh, huge for Heracross, bringing him up into number seven. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Heracross is a cool Pokemon. Yeah, it's like a it's like a like a beetle. It's like a beetle that punches you occasionally <laughs> because why not? Yeah, but uh, besides that, um, it seems very interesting. A lot of uh, like flyers. The mud boys, the grass types, the ice types. Yeah, it right? looks like we got Altaria at the top, which means we're gonna need some Altaria counters, right? Yep. Gonna need some ice. You're gonna need some ice, you're gonna need maybe like the Probo Pass. I think Probo Pass is down there yeah. somewhere. Probo Pass? Yeah, Pro Pass is number 13 oh, on the list. Yeah. Right? Probo Pass, we all know, the main, the main anti flyer. So we also have all these, look at all these like counters to Probo Pass though, like Wish Cash, Swampert, right? Like, oh my God. The grass too. Right, the grass, yeah. Venusaur. I'm thinking a low and Sand Slash might be a better counter for, for Altaria, right? Yeah, because then he also counters the Anti-Flyer as well. <sighs> yeah, and Sand Slash doesn't take super effective damage from grass because it's Steel and Ice. That's right. Yeah. So it's, these Pokemon seem very interesting. Look at Bronzon being so high up on the meta. Yeah. Right, number three spot. Mm -hmm. Confusion being able to do, well, Bronzong does pretty well against Altaria yeah. itself, right? Then you also have Confusion against the Grass Poisons, right? And then you also have Psy Shock, and then you also have Bulldoze for the Anti Flyers. Yeah. Right, so Bronzong seems pretty interesting here. Well, it's not a lot of Anti Flyers this time around, you know? I see Probo Pass. Yep. Well, there's Quagsire, there's yeah. Wish Cash. Well, where's Bastion Dawn around this time? Well, Bastion Dawn's 75k. Right. Ben. <laughs> that is, uh, I'm never gonna remember that stuff. <laughs> So, so it looks like the only tanky Pokemon, or uh, Anti-Flyer, I guess, is Probopass. The real Anti-Flyer, but then you also yeah. have the Mud Boys, right? What, what Stone Edge? One? Melton, right? Mel 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 Metal? Yeah. It's 100k. 100k. Yeah, yeah. so you can't. Damn, so Probopass. Unfortunately. But you also have some fighters in there, yeah. right? I saw um, Toxicroak, Blaziken, right? A lot of these Pokemon are going to be Because if Altaria's big, mm -hmm. you're going to need uh, <laughs> some ice. And if ice is big, it is some fire, some fighting, right? That's right. Yeah. So we're going to be having a lot of different typings coming into this. I don't think it's going to be very similar to, um, let's say, other cups that have come up where it's like, you know what, you're going to need a ghost, you're going to need a dark, and you're going to need a fighter. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's going to be like, you're going to need this, you're going to need that, you're going to need a fighting, you're going to need ice, you're going to need a grass, you're going to be like, it's going it's to be definitely interesting. And I do see some charm users. Because Togek is pretty high up there. Yeah? Yeah. I guess that's another way to beat Altaria, right? That is a great way to beat Altaria. Yeah, Togekiss, Ancient Power, Aerial Ace. Damn. But man. the only issue with Togekiss is like, once you charm the Altaria down, there's nothing really after that. What do you mean? What else can you use charm against? Uh, <laughs> and there are poisons. Okay, but okay, let's say you, you charm down the Altaria. You got some mm -hmm. charge move ready. You might have an you ancient might power. Have some you might have an ready. ancient power. It's just it's got a diverse moveset with aerial, uh, aerial ace and ancient power. That is very so true. So they throw in the ice. They want to mm -hmm. do some ice damage to your token kiss. Throw in that ancient power. Boom! Cross that ice with some rocks. <laughs> or if they throw in like a like a, a grass type or fighting type, got the aerial ace. You right? got the aerial ace for those. Yeah. But uh, this cup seems very interesting. Yeah. Uh, so far, I, I'm liking it. it. I like the way Sylph is putting things together, preparing for the Go Battle League. Yeah. Right? That surely shows that Sylph is like, you know what, guys? We really care about the people who play um, on our format, and we want to help you guys. Instead of you guys, you know what, making a completely different meta and saying, you want know to power this up, and then Go Battle League comes up, and then I was like, oh my god, I need to power this up now, too. Yeah. Right? They're like, you know what? Here's the cup. Prepare for Go Battle League. Yeah, I'm happy with that because, you know, I want to start preparing for Go Battle League. I don't have the Ultra League Pokemon. I don't have the Master League Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any raid Pokemon because I just kind of leech off people that are around me. And I'm like, you know, you guys got some good Pokemon. I'll just, I'll throw in my, uh, yeah? I'll throw in my Aggron and you guys can go with your, uh, your, you use Aggron. You're one of those. Yeah. You were one of those. Uh, All right. <laughs> Uh, but well, yeah. I'm pretty sure you don't want to admit that on camera. Yeah, You're gonna get so much hate I, now. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I have some raid Pokemon, all right? I got, I got some community day Pokemon. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a good idea because now I don't have to invest dust into Fusion Cup. I can still participate in Fusion Cup while also hunting for a Go Battle League Pokemon. That is very true. Yeah. Good thinking, self. Good thinking. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to click that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of what you guys think of the Fusion Cup, right? And don't forget to subscribe for more PvP, Go Battle League, and Sylph Arena content. See you guys on the next one.